Are you tired of losing gunfights, choking nukes, not getting high kill games? You probably got the wrong settings on. These will instantly change your guys' gameplay. So in today's video, these are my updated season three settings in Modern Warfare 3. Now, if these help you out in any sort of way, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and click the thumbs up button so you don't miss out on my future videos. So that being said, let's get straight into it. First things first, how can you trust my settings out of everybody's? Well, first, here, here's just a quick little glance at my stats we got a 6.28 kd so we win in them gunfights and we also win in them games with a 2.37 win loss and not only that can you guys see the skin i'm rocking yeah we finished in iridescent last season in ranked play in both multiplayer and warzone now we're gonna be starting off with my controller settings real quick i'm just gonna show you my controller it's the same it has been in all my other settings videos i did change out my control freak so there's the front of it and then here's the back where i have paddles i jump with this one so every time i jump it's this every time i slide or dolphin dive it's gonna be with this so i can keep my thumbs on the analog stick and do all the pressing back here rather than having to take my thumb off the analytic stick to go you know press these buttons over here i can keep that perfect game while doing all my movement over here after seeing my controller that's the reason why my stick and button layout remain default because i have the paddles now if you'd like to see me use a normal controller and maybe i change my button or stick layout i could do like a hand cam of some sort let me know in the comments i'd be actually be really interested in doing that uh bumper ping i have off if you want to flip the triggers so you shoot with the front instead of the back personal preference i just prefer the triggers it honestly doesn't really matter it's just all up to you for controller vibration you must turn this off this is messing up your aim and you genuinely don't know it if you think you have a great aim now wait till you take this off it may feel weird it may take a while to get used to but it is 100 worth it you do not need controller vibration on for my dead zone the left minimum is a seven it's like default this is very very normal left and right max should be 100 no matter what now my right stick minimum is a 15 it's a lot higher and it makes my aim feel so much more stickier so i'm missing less shots and it just allows me to kill people much more fast because it's a lot higher so again it just makes that right stick a little bit harder to move around it works for me personally if you don't like it i recommend doing a seven just like the left but please don't knock until you try it it's a little weird i know no one else does it but I really like it and it's helped me now for the left and right trigger make sure this is zero anything over zero will give you a delay delays no no you do not want that at all that's not good and then moving on to my aiming controllers settings I plan a 6-6 I used to plan a 7-6 I'm not sure if I changed it before season two or after but um it's now even and what's so great about the sensitivity is it's not too slow it's not too fast it's like right in the middle it's literally perfect there's no such thing as like a best sensitivity. It's whatever you feel most comfortable with. But I highly recommend starting out at a six if you don't really know what to do with your sensitivity. My EDS sensitivity multiplier, my that's going to be when I'm ADSing like this. It's a 0.80, and that's just going to allow my aim, once again, to be so much more stickier. At default, it's a one. I highly recommend knocking this down, and you're going to notice you're going to be landing so many more of your shots. And then you can kind of uh adjust it here i don't really mess with it whatsoever i don't mess with this either that's standard tactical stance sensitivity i don't really play in it but it's a 0.90 aim response curve i get a lot of comments on this people are telling me that um dynamic isn't the best in my personal opinion it is e easily the best i mean the best players in the world in the cdl have talked about ga this and getting rid of it because of how good it is but i i've seen other people talk about how great linear is personal preference i guess i personally like dynamic and i've never changed it since and then here's this curved slope is a one my ads sensitivity multiplier focus this is for scopes so if you're sniping or whatnot mine's a 0.95 so i'm able to still drag scope and whatnot because I, I do it quite a bit and um I, I guess one's just a little too high so i just knocked it down a little bit nothing too crazy and then target aim assist uh make sure this is actually on it's the most overpowered thing in call of duty right now my aim assist type is default black ops used to be the best it's another personal preference thing i just prefer default i've tried black ops in the past it doesn't feel all that good i'm gonna be honest so i i felt default to be the best one and that's gonna wrap it up for the aiming controller settings moving on to gameplay you're gonna want to make sure you're an automatic tactical sprint this is a necessity for movement so i'm gonna go ahead and turn this off right and i'm just gonna use my left analog stick and go up Okay, you see how I'm not running at all and I'm just going up? 
It's because I haven't pressed on the analog stick. So I got to add a step to run full speed. Now, let's go back and let's go ahead and turn that on. All right, now let's go ahead and go up on the analog stick. Ready? Okay, I'm running at full speed by just simply going up. So that just saves me more time and I could be more aggressive in my gameplay and run quicker and not break my controller by mashing this in. Simply just automatic task sprint, man. It is the best option for um, movement. You want to make sure that's on. Slide maintain sprint. I turned this off. Um, I had it on before, but it kept making me dolphin dive when I had it on. It was kind of annoying. I would lose gunfights and accidentally dolphin out when I'm not trying to. So turning it off, just it just made things easier for me personally. Um, auto move forward is off. Tactical sprint behavior is double tap. Uh, grounded mantle. I also had to turn this off as well because this was making me do the dolphin dive and stuff. I, I I don't know what it is. Both of these settings just kept making me dolphin dive out of nowhere. So I personally turned them off. It, it, it's up to you if you want to have mine or not. I, I didn't like it. I only do slide only. The hybrid option allows you to do both if you want to do that. You just have to press down on your left stick and then... Um, hit your slide button and it'll allow you to dolphin dive. I only slide. I don't find myself dolphin diving ever and I don't want to accidentally do it. And sliding only also removes a little delay that you get sometimes if you have it on like tap to slide or hybrid. So when you do slide only, it removes any sort of delays and you could slide cancel with absolute ease. Uh, parachute automatic behavior if you're playing Warzone. Turn this off so you can get closest to the ground and then pull your suit so you're one of the first people landing. Uh... Ledge climb behavior is mantle only. Everything else after that, I don't see anything too insane. Most of this is default. I'm still gonna go over it. Um, interact reload behavior. So for multiplayer, I do tap to reload, so I just have to press reload once, and I could do it. Prioritize interact is when I'm playing Warzone. I want to spam pick up items, and then I'll have to hold to reload if there's like something in my way that I can pick up. You'll have to hold it, but it just depends what you're playing. Multi tap to reload. Warzone or zombies, prioritize interact. I have apply all plates. So instead of having to hold down triangle when I'm trying to apply plates, I have to hold it down once and then it'll just keep going until I'm fully plated up. So it's just something that's really convenient. And then after that, everything else seems, oh wait, one by one grouped. I, I have no clue. A Kimbo behavior, mine's independent. I tried doing paired, but it was like, not quick. The fire rate was like really, really slow or something. It, it didn't work really well. So I swapped back to independent. So I actually had to press both triggers to fire both weapons. It just seemed so much easier for me personally. It made the weapons a lot better. And yeah, that's going to wrap up for controller settings. Not a lot I changed at the bottom here. So yeah, jot that down. I'm not going to go too crazy in depth into my uh, display settings since it's mainly specific to my PC. Here's my brightness. I always get asked about it. It's 50 on the dot. It's because I have filters on my my recording software which makes my game look beautiful for you guys so you could see it and then yeah nothing yeah nothing again nothing too crazy i'll just keep scrolling through oh make sure hdr is off by the way that's no matter what pc you own turn this off you do not want that on and then here is my uh, my quality settings for my pc again nothing like i have to go too crazy in depth because it's pretty much straightforward for my pc only um it just gives me a great mixture of frames and uh quality so the game looks good and i'm also getting a lot of frames i mean top left i have i have 300 in this game look at this i'm at 300 right now my game literally looks beautiful and i'm getting a lot of frame it's just like the perfect mix of a little bit of everything and then yeah i mean there there it is i, I mean i went over them we then have my field of view. So I plan on 115. Um, 120 is the max. I don't really like it. The lower it is, the better it is in my personal opinion. So I think the default like 90. Um, the lowest I would personally go is maybe like a like 100, 110. I find 115 be the sweet spot so I can actually see because the further you are away, like you, you can't see when you're ADSing. So I find 115 just to be really good for me. Make sure you're on ADS field of view affected. This will visually reduce the recoil on your weapons. It's a little bit of a cheat code. It's pretty insane. Independent will give you more visual recoil. That's just the best way I can explain it. My weapon field of view is wide, so my weapon appears smaller on screen. And this is really helpful because um, it'll allow me to see around the map a little bit more. I can actually see enemies. I don't need my weapon to be big on screen. That just doesn't make any sense to me. World and weapon motion blur. Let me turn this on this is a cheat code to make your game look beautiful so i turned it on right here it is 
You guys see this? It's like blurry, right? Motion blur. It's literally blur. It's uh, like... You see that? Like, it's... Yeah, look at look at this. Okay. Now let's go in our settings and turn this off. Look at how much smoother my game looks now, right? And it literally makes it look more clear and smooth. So make sure you turn off motion blur. I don't know why it's a default setting that they turn on for you. Really weird. It, it, it's so odd. Film grain, make sure this is zero. Um, if you have it on, your game's just going to look grainy. Duh. So if you have this at zero, it's going to look smooth, clear once again. Camera movement, make sure it's at 50%. So default's 100. Um, it, it's kind of hard to tell when I'm like, I don't know, like it's, nothing's really going on. But basically, there's just a lot more shake on the camera, which is it's just not fun, I guess. I, it just doesn't look smooth once again. So go to the settings, turn this to least. I don't know if you can tell a difference when I turn it on or off, but your camera just isn't moving as much and it just makes it a lot more stable. So you're not going to be that dizzy. And then... My inverted flash bang, I have this on. So when I get flash banged, instead of my screen going white, I gotta take that hard at blink. It goes black instead. And I feel like it reduces the effects for me personally. And I I just prefer this, honestly. And that's gonna wrap the graphic settings. Again, really, really straightforward. Now for my audio settings, I don't really change much here. My audio mix is headphone bass boost. And I just feel like this helps me hear footsteps a lot better than any of the other audio mixes that we have here. So. Again, not just me personally for my Astro A40s. Uh, make sure you're on stereo. You can actually test, I guess. I didn't know that was a thing. For my volumes here, th these are really important. So I highly recommend turning off cinematic music, word tracks, and gameplay music. It's just background noise and nonsense that you don't need to be hearing in your headset. The most important things are the ones I have cranked up the most. Dialogue and effects. Dialogue, enemy UAV, a kill streak. Oh, I got to get inside. Let me play a little bit smarter or whatnot effects this is the footsteps and the explosions and things like that or like throwing a, a grenade in it bouncing on stairs like that is important that's life or death in game so um that's why they're the highest and then my master's 26 just just because my game is already really loud as is um, my voice chat's 10 lower the, again more nonsense i like to hear game chat but it doesn't need to be louder than the dialogue in game or footstep audio and then I might have my mic on. I can kind of turn it on and off. Subtitles are off. I don't need words and letters on my screen. It's just, again, more nonsense. Don't need it. Don't care for it. Uh, mono audio, make sure this is off. If it is on, left and right will merge together. So it'll be hard for you to tell and distinguish if there's footsteps to your left or your right. Having it off actually separates it, which is really important. Reduce your tinnitus sound. Um, basically, when you get flashed or stunned, that overpowering ringing is reduced that's basically what this does when it is on and you don't want that ringing in your ear that doesn't make sense to be listening to um juggernaut music is off my hit markers is modern warfare and again yeah very very quick to go over these audio settings and then finally we have my interface settings um subtitles once again all off if you guys want the cheat code to uh color customization i go over this every single time because people wonder why my game looks beautiful i gotta give it to this so come down here to color filter settings do filter two color filter target do both and then make sure these are both 100 and your game is going to be so much more vibrant all their colors are going to kind of like pop out at you it makes your game look absolutely beautiful just like mine so again not a lot of people mess with this you're gonna want to um next we have my hud bounds so i'm gonna go ahead and uh, change this actually take a look at my mini map just look at i want you guys to look at my mini map um my ammo my kill streaks, my field upgrade. Just take a look at it right now, how it is, right? All right. Remember it like that. And all right. And I just changed it back to how I normally had it. What do you guys notice? My mini map is broadened more to the center of my screen. So I don't have to look for further to the top left corner. I can kind of glance a little bit quick. It's just quicker to look at. And same with my ammo, my field upgrades, all that. So you see this, you see this dot on my screen? We're going to go over it a little bit. This dot on my screen right here, this big dot in the middle. You want to focus on that. That needs to be on enemies at all given times. So if there's someone is, if there's someone right there and I know it, I want to peek out like that. Boom. I'm already ready to go. If I get that first shot off, I'm winning that gunfight. All right. You want your eyes on this dot. If my eyes are not on that dot, they're on my mini map. Where's an enemy? Quick glance. Boom. Look. Boom. He's right there. Boom. Got him. Right? So you want to bring your HUD in and that'll just make things so much easier on you to like just quickly glance rather than have to look further away game changer i highly recommend changing that my mini map is square very like easy reasoning behind it if you take a look 
the square minimap shows a lot more of your minimap than the circle. The minimap is one of the most important things in both Warzone and multiplayer. What are your cheats? What, you're looking at your other screen? No, Dingus. I'm looking at my minimap because it shows me where enemies are at. I use UAVs and advanced UAVs. It only makes sense to use them. Horizontal compass. I, I just don't use it, so I have it off. I don't need it on my screen if I'm not using it. Crosshairs. I have the center dot on and largest. This is the dot we were just talking about earlier. Um, if we could change this to default, you could see. Look at how, look at how much smaller this dot is. Like, it's one of the most important things in COD is centering and having your, your crosshairs ready to go at any given time. And when you can't see the dot, it's kind of hard to do so. You see, look how big that dot is compared to that other one we had on. Like, it is just so much better to work on your centering when the dot is that big in your screen. I really, really like it. And it's, for me personally, it's been an absolute game changer. Nothing else here I, I really changed. Player names is abbreviated. I'm pretty sure that's how I get the dot on the screen. I, I, I honestly don't know, but I don't need their full name on there. It's just not needed. Um, telemetry, you can mess with this for your FPS counter, server latency, pack a loss. I think these are the three most important ones. You could do the other ones as well. And then tool tips, all that nonsense. This is all that's off. You don't need to mess with that. That's going to wrap up today's settings video, man. I hope these helped you out. Now you could hear better. Your game looks great. You got the best sensitivities. You should be frying now. Dropping nukes, winning gunfights, getting high kill gameplays. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, let me know in the comments. But other than that, that's going to wrap up for today, and I'll see you in the next one. You guys all stay safe. Have a great day, and I'm out. Peace.